Amy and Rory told their friends and family that they were honeymooning in Thailand. Instead, they traveled through space and time. They spent the first night of their marriage in their quarters aboard the doctor's TARDIS, traveling through the time vortex. Despite the inherent inconvenience of their bunk beds, Amy and Rory quickly conceived a child while transiting time space, inadvertently causing a mutation in their zygote. Amy told the doctor and Rory to go on a boy's trip to a party, whilst she sunbathed, in an attempt to make them get along better. The doctor left them on to a honeymoon planet, a planet on a honeymoon with an asteroid, just before his TARDIS was stolen by the claw shansheath of the 15th funeral fleet. Amy insisted the doctor carry her mobile phone with him to keep in touch. On other honeymoon trips they visited 1605 where James I arrested them, encountered giant bees at the gardens of Zul Tep in 3104, met Wyatt Earp and went on a beach holiday to Drago 14. Amy and Rory continued their honeymoon aboard an interstellar cruise ship. While the couple engaged in role-play in their WPC and Centurion uniforms, their ship almost crashed into a planet. Amy took on the role as the ghost of Christmas present to coax Kazan Sardik into letting the ship land safely. After Abigail Pettigrew and the doctor's broken sonic screwdriver opened the planet's cloud belt to save the ship, the doctor suggested a moon made of honey as a destination. He said there were some lovely views, but it was technically alive and slightly carnivorous. Near the end of their honeymoon, the TARDIS materialized inside itself after Rory was distracted by the view through the TARDIS's glass floor and up Amy's skirt, thereby dropping the thermal couplings he was helping the doctor to install. Amy encountered a future version of herself, with whom she flirted, arousing Rory. As she had with her much younger self, Amy was able to defy the Blinovich limitation effect and make physical contact with her slightly older, younger self. The doctor used the resulting space loop to end the paradox.